To set up your deck for two player hearts, remove the three, five, seven, nine, jack, and king from all the suits. Begin the game by dealing one card to a widow and then dealing 13 cards to each player. The final card is also set aside in the widow. These two cards will not be used in the game. In this game, the first player to score 100 points loses. You earn points by collecting tricks with hearts in them. Each heart is worth one point. The queen of spades is worth 13 points, so you are trying to avoid taking these cards. The player with the two of clubs goes first. If the two of clubs has been placed in the widow, then the player with the four of clubs goes first. If the four of clubs is in the widow, the player with the six of clubs goes first. They must play that card. The opposite player must then follow suit. This player laid the ace of clubs. The highest card in the suit that was led takes the trick. So the ace of clubs takes the trick. Whoever takes the trick gets to lead. You cannot lead with a heart until hearts have been broken. We'll see what that means here in a moment. The player chooses to lay the ace of diamonds. Now the opposite player must follow suit if able. They lay the eight of diamonds. The highest card in the suit that was led takes the trick. The ace of diamonds takes the trick. Let's see what happens when we break hearts. Here the player lays the two of spades. The opposite player cannot follow suit. Now they are allowed to lay any card they wish, including hearts. They choose to lay the queen of hearts. The hearts have now been broken. Since the two of spades is the highest card in the suit that was led, they take the trick. They also earn one point for the queen of hearts. Since the player could not follow suit and they played a heart card, hearts have been broken. Now it is okay for hearts to be led. The eight of hearts is now led. The opposite player needs to follow suit if able. They choose to play the six of hearts. The eight of hearts takes the trick. Remember, in this game, the queen of spades does not count as a heart, so it can be played at any time. It can also be led at any time. However, it is worth points. It's worth 13 points. Now you understand the basic rules for play, let's move on to how to keep score. At the end of the hand, each player will count up how many hearts they have. Each heart is worth one point. Whoever took the queen of spades gets 13 points. You will continue to play until one player reaches 100 points. That player loses. Let's quickly look at an example of how to keep score. In this game, the player who took the queen will have scored 16 points. The player opposite of them would have scored four points. Normally, you try to avoid taking any of the hearts cards or the queen of spades, but there is a special rule for taking all of them. If you manage to take all of the heart cards and the queen of spades, that's called shooting the moon. If you do this, you would score zero points and your opponent would score 20. If you found this video helpful, please give me a like and a subscribe. That will surely help the channel grow. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any other questions. And check out the description section for more games and more ways to support the channel. Thanks for watching.